Good morning. It is 6.43 a.m. on Friday, June 10th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Woo! Yeah! Hello there. Um, <laughs> so yesterday, as I was walking Luna after work, uh, I ran into my neighbor and he kind of hurried, he, he called out and hurried to catch up with me. And, uh, when I, when he came up, he, uh, he, he basically was saying, I'm so sorry for this morning. I was driving a rental car and I was kind of just not, you know, the, the acceleration brake is different than I was used to. So I didn't mean to startle you. And I'm like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. So I guess he must have just uh, kind of stopped short near me or something like that when I was walking Luna that morning. And it just goes to show you how aware I was during that walk that if I noticed at all at the time, I totally forgot which is probably a, uh, I know for a fact that that's, uh, that's the case because I'll tell you right now, these videos that I record this early in the morning, whew, as soon as it's gone, it's gone. I, I very often will not remember anything that I said in one of these videos <laughs> unless I look at the little uh, description that I put on it. And even then sometimes. Now, that's not always true, but it's true a lot. Um, <laughs> so but anyway, I told what I told him is, yeah, that's OK. I know how that could be. But boy, I just do not remember that happening at all. Uh, so yesterday, writing on Phyllis was hard. I was it was just a, it was. It's not that I can't make myself put the words down. It's just it was a lot harder for me yesterday to settle down into that mode. Uh, I kept wanting to be distracted and play around on Facebook and procrastinate and that sort of thing. It just goes to show you, you know, even though I've been writing on it every day since uh, the first of the year, you know, almost six months now of every single day. That does not necessarily make it that much easier on each individual day. Sometimes it does. It's because there's kind of just in my brain, there's just an expectation of, well, I'm definitely gonna. There's not any question of not doing it. But boy, sometimes it's just kind of like trying to get a little kid to clean his room, you know. You're going to make him do it, but it depends on the day whether they go ahead and do it willingly and then move on and then everybody's happy or whether they pout and sit and kick and scream and cry and complain and it goes on for hours because they won't spend 10 minutes picking toys up off the floor. That was pretty much writing yesterday. Um, on an unrelated note, uh, there is a series of videos from the guys at polygon.com on YouTube called monster factory. And I highly recommend them as some of the funniest stuff, like, or at least just perfectly in my wheelhouse in the sense of stuff that just makes me laugh almost uncontrollably. The basic prem premise of these videos is that they, they pick video games that have character customization where you can sort of make a character look uh, however you want it to look, you know, within the boundaries of what the game allows and its little character creation tool. But what they basically do is they try to make the sort of the most goofy or horrific looking character possible and make a bunch of jokes about it and then run that character. They decide kind of what that character's like and then they run them around the video game for a little bit. And so it's it's just seems like a super dumb premise. 
but I can just tell you that at least if your sense of humor is like mine, you will find them extraordinarily entertaining. Monster Factory from the Polygon channel on YouTube. Go watch it. I mean, I'm, this video is going to be over in a minute. So you go watch Monster Factory and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.